hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vala underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Happy New Year. Back moving through here. Salute to every single one of y'all, right? So, um, Divide and Conquer, Rare Breed Entertainment, Hollow the Dawn versus Ill Will going down February 4th. Doors open at 12 noon. Tickets and live pay-per-view on rarebreedent.com is going down at 4U Recording Atlanta, 1376 Chattahoochee Ave, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30318. Um, I like the way that, if this is the way that they're going to start off the year with Rare Breed Entertainment, I like. They did a lot of uh, moves in 2022 as far as like establishing newer names Bills in a lot of new talent. You got Caution, she's in Chrome 23 going to the final. You had Remedy Loco, you had Coach Coleon, the bags and bodies, you know what I'm saying? You had a lot of moving pieces, you know what I'm saying? Of people that was involved with Rare Breed Entertainment, and you know what I'm saying? I could go through other names. Show Off had good battles, Jag had good battles. Like, they really had some consistency without operating at a super high level because, you know, when, uh, when people look into Battle Rat, always want to know, the max outs, the big battles, the this, the this, to compare this to that. But I think they had a pretty consistent, you know, I seen Reed Dollars on some cards. I seen A-Ward on some cards. I seen continuing to put out good content. 40 bars versus Ill Will, that was another good battle. But now you're moving up to Hollow the Dawn versus Ill Will. I think this is a dope battle. A lot of people have always wanted to know. I've said it in blogs before. I know I have, especially when it comes to Rare Breed. When was Ill Will going to start getting those bigger, bigger names, those Hitman Hollers, those um, Hollow the Dons, those, those big, big names, because I'm like, I you know he had got Calico, and I just looked at it like, while Ill Will has mastered the mid-level battling skills, when is he going to start getting those super, super, super top-tier names that he can really solidify his legacy? Because Ill Will could freestyle, Ill Will could rebuttal, Ill Will could joke, Ill Will could kick a story, Ill Will could switch. Wait, wait, wait. Hollow the Dawn could kick a story, could freestyle, could rebuttal, could crack jokes, could be, you know, could make you lead to a predictable line, could, 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 could throw a line out and catch it with another line. Like, this is possibly the most leveled skill level that um, you're gonna see. Like these two at top level really um, even each other out. And what's funny is, these are the first two big announcements of 2023, right? You got Remy doing Hitman versus Easy the Black Captain. Now Rare Breed has shown a big card, like a big card. Like, you know, you got a couple cards, you get to deal them out. They have flipped theirs over. They got a big card. Like this is this is this is a nice looking card right here. Where because that's the start of wherever it's gonna go. I'm sure there's gonna be some other battles that go down, and I'm sure the card is gonna be lined up pretty well. But um, Hollow the Don, like he's been the definition of consistency because even in 2023, when he had battles that were not that great optically, or had a lot of replay value or big moments in certain battles. He still was very consistent. He really wasn't losing battles. Like he'll battle Rum Nitty. A lot of people got hollow. He'll battle Gichigati. A lot of people got hollow. He battled Keishan. A lot of people got hollow. He's winning ugly battles. I'd rather win ugly battles than to lose in amazing fashion. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, the thing that Hollow was able to do in 2022 and battle more consistently. Because there's some guys like Hollows and like Daylights. While they're dope MCs. If they don't battle in a long time, you know what I'm saying, six, seven, eight months, you kind of lose, uh, lose course. Daylight hasn't battled since King Los, which was like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's like almost damn near two years ago. So it's like you, you get lost in, in, in translation. So moving on, uh, these two battling could easily set the bar lyrically, rebuttaling-wise, 
the angles, like Ill Will is a phenomenal angler. Hollow Don is a top level angler. Like they, there is no weakness in either. There's like, I could easily sit here and tell you five reasons why both each one would win, but there's no need to do that. It's like, I got this, this is a battle that I have to call 2-1 either way. I, I, Cause there's, there, somebody's got to steal something. You know what I mean? This is self-checkout. Somebody's got to steal. Don't steal from self-checkout. But somebody's got to be able to make a move in regards to what's going on because it's like, if you don't, it, 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 I don't see nobody getting 30 because ill will, like I said, I've been debating, I've been lobbying, I've been politicking, I've been asking, when's ill will? What's up with ill will? Yeah, 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 I know he's got, he got a war, but... When's he gonna get that big name? Oh yeah, I know you got Reed. Reed's a legend, but you know what I mean? Uh, you getting close to it, but I'm like, I need that person now. Like, uh, put him up there versus whoever. See where the chips may land, you know what I'm saying? Because I think he's been able to handle himself on damn near all the cards he's been on, you know what I mean? And Ill Will is known to beat people, even while they're doing good. While they're doing good, he can beat them. Doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? He can out joke the funniest. He can, he can, if he's battling female, Yo, Ill will battle two people in one day. Maybe this will be appreciated in the future when he's not battle rapping no more or something like that. But the man battled two people on a URL card. Miss Miami and Your Honor. Three rounds and won every round of two battles. Like, who does, who can do that? Like, <laughs> this is crazy. So, but, um, Hollow to Don. Legendary, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even have to really talk about his accolades and the things that he's done and the consistency that he's had and what he's done business-wise with the clothing line and everything he's got going on and staying consistent with it. Um, for him to battle ill will, he knows that's a threat. I don't have to speak to Hollow to, for him to know that I know that he knows that that's a threat. I'm sure I will speak to him soon, you know what I'm saying? I got his number, he got mine, we, you know, holidays, families and shit. But when we do speak, he'll know. If he don't, He'll know here. I'm telling him right here. Even if we don't. Nigga, that this right here is a challenge for you. Because often when you think about schematically with, with the battles that Hollow has had, in a lot of these scenarios, he has a, a glaring advantage in some area. Either he's a way better rebuttaler than the person, he's a way better puncher or schemer or angler, or he's he has an angle where he can do something that the other person can't do as high as him. I can honestly say Ill Will can do everything that Hollow can do at the same level. He can. I've seen him switch flows and but it was like I like like I've seen him break down bars. I've seen him do it all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got one of the most dangerous MCs, and if this is the level of battles that, and I'm not saying when it comes to Ill Will. I'm not saying that he's not getting big battles. He's battled Daylight before, you know what I'm saying? He's battled Calico. He had, he's had big battles. But what I think is the consistency of those big battles, because he'll have a big battle, then he'll have a middle level ground battle, like it's A Ward or something like that. And then you want to see that big battle again. Like, Will, we want to see, can Will, can Will get to a point where it's like big battle, big battle, big battle, big battle, big battle. Maybe stoop down just a little bit, but back to big, big, big. Not big battle, small battle, medium battle, okay, 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 we get another one. I just want to see him get that run, because I know he can do it at the highest level, and not too many people get beat ill when he's in that bag. Hollow to Don, there's so much I could say about what he's able to do and um, the shit that he's able to put together, but... There's no need to because you'll see it. Like you'll see, like he's not gonna go anywhere and get smoked. But I gotta say, shout out to uh, ARP for even putting this together. You know what I'm saying? Rare Breed Entertainment coming out. Some big names on a big card. And like I said, um, I had heard the rumblings and salute to um, ARP and everything that he's got going on. Um, I talked to him a little earlier uh, about some things, and you know he's continuing to do what he's doing. I see that you know he's at the podcast going. Sorry, it's true. If you haven't seen it, he talks about a lot of relevant topics. Sometimes he'll talk about things, and I'll be like, you know, yeah, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then they'll go off, talk, off course, and talk about the trials and Gunner and Doug. And I seen Jim's on there and all of that too. You know what I'm saying? You want to see positive shit to continue to roll, man. It's good to see them working together. But um, yeah, back to this. So he spent a lot of last year having. He had a couple events that were like medium sized but no super duper duper big blowout event. And he, he made some names, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's starting to make some names. He's starting to, got to get some guys some looks. 
And guys are like, you know, they're taking advantage, you know what I'm saying? Coach Cole, you know, like I said, he was in the show with uh, bags and bodies, and then you got other MCs that he's got that are doing their thing, and they're taking advantage of the opportunity that's presented to them. So to see them get on these type of cards, if they can get on there, you know, do your thing. Remedy Loco, I think Remedy Loco had a really impressive little run uh, this year in the joints that he had. He was supposed to battle Reed, and for some reason it didn't happen. I don't know like, all, this, all the logistics of it, but I know it didn't happen. I think that would have been a pretty good look for him too, but uh, I look forward to seeing what he does in 2023 also. Um, yeah, so other than that, you know, uh, Hollow to Dawn versus Ill Will. I'm sure me and SP will talk about it. Happy New Year to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Um, what I will say, man, I gotta, I gotta uh, tell y'all something, man. And I know, you know, NFL is going on, and I'll talk to y'all about that in a little second right now. Um, be careful out there, man, um, in these streets, man. Like, I know there's a lot of people that watch these videos, and I don't really be trying to, like, you know, tell people what to do with their lives and tell people how to move and all of that, but I got to let y'all know, man, that these streets, dog, these streets is unforgiving, man. Like, yo, if you could avoid being somewhere you don't need to be, man, it's, it's probably worth it. And if you got to walk around with a gun to go somewhere, or you got to go, if you're going to a party and I got to take a gun to go to this party, you might not want to go to that party, dog. And I'm going to tell you, man, for real, Trouble is really easy to get into and very hard to get out of. I'm grown, so I be home most of the time. You know what I'm saying? I love it when people are like, oh, hey, oh, hey, man, listen. You, you pray. I hope, I pray that a lot of y'all young folks that watch this stuff in life get to where I'm at in life. You know what I'm saying? I, I pray that you get to a point where people are calling you an old head. Not in a bad way, but you know what I'm saying? And you could be able to give people advice and tell people that, yeah, I've been through stuff, I've been up, I've been down in life, and battle rap, whatever the case may be, but look where I'm at right now. We seven, eight, nine years now. SP, me and him, three, four, going on five years. This is not, this is not stopping, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just 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 make sure that y'all being safe out there, man, because uh, it, it's getting a little crazy in these streets, man. 2022 showed us that uh, anything could happen at any day. But um, NFL, Boom, 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 boom. I think the Commanders are currently losing their way out of the playoffs because they lost today, and Green Bay is winning <laughs> against uh, Green Bay is winning against Minnesota. So that would uh, probably put Green Bay in, and then put uh, unfortunately, yeah, 34 to three. So once Green Bay beats uh, the Vikings, <laughs> the Commanders are going home. Exit stage left. That's crazy. Um. What else is going on? I had the Eagles lost today, crazy, but Hurts ain't play. Tom Brady and them won, okay. Uh, Jets losing again, you know how they roll. Uh, and the Giants won. So the Giants are heading back to the playoffs first time and God knows how long. It has been a long time. I'm proud of my guys, glad we made it back to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, we'll go ahead and send this down to the Commanders. You motherfuckers in the playoffs, two games up, lost two games, now y'all out. So yeah, this is gonna be y'all's. Y'all, y'all happy. Y'all, y'all, y'all missed. Y'all missed on Christmas. Y'all missed on everything else. So y'all ain't having a happy new year. But we are. Salute to the Giants, you know what I'm saying? Salute to my man Saquon Barkley. It is what it is. Happy New Year. Out of here. Gang gang. Mm -hmm.